Hi, this is Nick Pushak. We're going to do another uh, Tesla video. Uh, I've noticed that the regeneration uh, braking uh, changes when it's uh, cold out. And I want to show you how uh, it differs when you first start out in the morning uh, and then about uh, 15 minutes uh, later in the day after you start driving. Cold out and the car is cold. That the regeneration, you see the little uh, dotted lines. Watch when I uh, brake here, or let go of the gas. It only goes up to about halfway of the regeneration. So if you're going fast, we'll try it up here. We'll get up to um, 60 miles an hour. And then let go of the gas. Notice normally it would regenerate all the way down to 50 or higher, and it only regenerates about halfway, meaning that you really don't slow down uh, very much compared to uh, when the car's warmed up. I'll show you later that uh, I'm driving to work uh, probably within uh, 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, my regeneration go back to normal where I can regenerate uh, much more. So I'm uh, 19 minutes uh, into my drive and the uh, regeneration um, limiter uh, went off. So now if I decel, notice that it uh, does a full regeneration there. Took about uh, 15, 18 minutes to warm up, I guess. So that's uh, regeneration. So here's a uh, an example of the difference with a uh, full regenerator braking. When I come to this uh, stop coming up here, uh, I can uh, drive pretty close up to it and then let go of the gas and it's going to regenerate and slow me down enough. I can even uh, take this turn here, speed up to it, slow down, let go, and take the turn without touching the brake. Without the full regenerated braking, um, you really have to use your brake pedal uh, because it doesn't slow you down enough uh, in most situations. <clears throat> Again, it's slowed down there just by letting go of the gas enough. It's almost like downshifting in a car. So here, for example, I'll go in fast. Uh, and we'll take the next street. Somebody's warming up here to go for a jog. It's my friend. <coughs> it's always jogging on this road. But uh, I'll show you. I'm driving pretty fast here. And there's a turn here. And I'll let go of the gas here. It's going to slow me down enough to make that turn without having to touch the brake with the, uh, I would say, halfway regenerated braking, the uh, car will not slow down enough to um, make that turn um, with, once the car warms up, you have enough uh, uh, ge uh, ge generation which is slowing you down. It's like a downshifting on a car uh, that you re really rarely have to touch the brake pedal uh, in most of your driving. You can just simply have your foot on the gas and um, press to go forward and uh, let go to stop. I'll show you we're approaching here another uh, red light <clears throat> and it takes a little while to get used to the timing but I'll take it up pretty close, and then right here, I'll let go of the gas, and it's gonna slow me down. And again, I, I didn't time it perfect, so I'm putting the gas back on just to creep forward, and then let go, and it doesn't take you to a complete stop, so I'm gonna have to touch the brake, it's a very soft touch of the brake, just to come to a full stop. Hi, I did some research on this topic. I found uh, in some threads that I'm going to include in the description that uh, the regenerative braking uh, is limited uh, when either the car is too hot, too cold, or if you're fully charged. 
So in all of those cases, you'll see the dotted lines uh, appear, and uh, you have to be real careful because the car doesn't slow down uh, as much as it normally would. So just be careful out there. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe.